What up, it's your buddy Mark, coming with another um, General Hospital review um, of today's. I just watched it. Um, I let it play, t it, and then I watch it. And um, I, t I took my notes, otherwise I can't remember everything that happened. Um, even though nothing really much happened today. Of course, I started on one of the most, most boring weeks we've had in a while. And, yo, know, it's... This should have been like a Friday quality episode since they're doing Flashback Friday, which is really a fancy name for a rerun. So I won't be I won't be covering tomorrow's because it's a rerun. But um, yeah, so today should have been better than it was. It should have been. So that's two Thursday. Last Thursday was such a dud because I started off of Mondays, and I thought should I start off with Thursdays, but it was Thursdays. Last Thursdays are so boring. I don't even remember what happened because nothing happened. <laughs> oh, and um, I got one comment about the person wrote, I got a potty mouth. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to cut down on the swearing. There's no way I'm not going to call Nella bitch. And I'm sorry, the way Sam was acting to Brando, she was being a bitch. So um, they'll try to cut down on the F word. Because <laughs> um, I've only been in the YouTube business for like, three months and I cover rap, hip hop, um, and mostly, mostly gangster hip hop, but not all of it, you know, and I'm really trying to show that, yo, it's okay. You, you can be a fan of rap and be called, um, like a thug or gangster or wigger, whatever people have called me. Um, and, but it's still okay to like General Hospital. It's still cool. You know what I mean? Like, and if you like something, you should not feel like you need to hide that. Like, I have no, I'm not embarrassed that I like General Hospital. Not, not even a little bit. Even, but even though, um, then I try to defend it, but it's just the truth. What drew me to it was the gangster element of the show. I mean, the main character is the mob boss. And, you know, um, but it's not all gangster, but that's what, that's actually what I like the most. I can't lie about that. But anyway, but I, I like a lot. I like a lot of the characters, not just Sonny and Jason and Carly and Sam, you know, their, their girlfriends or wives, whatever. All right, so today starts with Sonny's got news. Jocelyn and Dev run in. Um, Jocelyn's Carly's daughter with Jax, but Carly and Sonny are married now, so Sonny's a stepfather. And Dev is not related at all, but Sonny's pretending that um, he's his cousin or something. Or I don't know. Dev calls him Uncle Sonny, but I think he says, I, I don't know. But um, and then he says, we got to wait. And then Brando shows up too. Brando's pretending to be Dev's father. Brando really is related to Sonny. Um, and they wanted him. He, uh, Brando's mom said he was dead. But really, she was meant like she was dead to him. But no, she really. Is. So anyway, I don't, don't want to go backwards. So anyway, anyone who watches, they know Brando, the whole story. Because I don't want to tell the whole story. It's too long. All right, then Elizabeth shows up at Cam at hospital. Pretty boring. Um, he Cam sees Trina because they kissed the other day. I can tell that they're liking each other, even though um, he likes Jocelyn. Up oh, then Brooklyn, who I don't really care for New Brooklyn. Not. There's not many recasts I'm, I'm too fond of. She goes to Charlie's of all places, and um, Julian's telling her to get out because she just blackmailed him. Like last time we seen these guys together. Um, all right, and then it picks up with Willow showing up at Chase's um, apartment. That's how it ended yesterday, and he's trying to say I'm sorry. And then it cuts from then, and Nell. Um, Michael, he was going for a jog, a lot of steam. He runs, oh, uh, then Nell runs into Sasha and just, um, no. Uh, Nell runs into Michael in the park and then Carly runs into Sasha and uh, Carly starts it on Sasha. How could you cheat on my son, blah, blah, blah. I believed you, I trusted you. And then it's all right, so that was the beginning. And then we get gets back. Sonny says, um, Yo, um, because I even for, I forgot about this, that Dev and Jocelyn have been on lockdown. Like, they can't go nowhere. They haven't been allowed to go to school because of um, the violence with Cyrus. 
he already kidnapped um, the TJ, the Kamish Christian's son, and he already kidnapped Trina and Cam. That's why uh, Cam was at the hospital seeing the psychiatrist. Um, Trina was there for stupid reasons. His mom just got a job there. But anyway, so uh, Sonny says they, they, they can go out now because they made Sonny made the truce with Cyrus, which is about which is so fake. So, Sonny plans on taking on Cyrus, and Cyrus first is saying, first we gotta take out Jason. So they both plan on double crossing each other. That truce really means nothing. So I don't know why Sonny's gonna go back out. But he also telling, um, what's his name? Brando, yo, you can go back to Chicago if you want. So I need a sip of water. A lot of talking. Usually I'm listening. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Liz is talking to Trina's mom. Sorry, I forget her name. Um, I forgot she even got a job at the General Hospital, but they're talking, and she already wants to be more than a nurse. I forget she wanted, like, advanced medicine, something, she said. Basically a raise, and she, she's asking Liz, I think it's too soon to be asking. Yeah, you just, <laughs> you've been a nurse there for, like, a week or two. Anyway, um, what happened then? Uh, Brooklyn and Julian just arguing. But Brooklyn f also figured out that Julian cut the brakes on uh, on Brad's car, which ended up Lucas ended up driving uh, Lucas's Brad's uh, Lucas's Julian's son, and ended up being in a coma. Brad, look, sorry, Lucas supposed to be on work that night. Sorry, I don't want to keep going backwards, but um, he's supposed to be working that night. He was never supposed to be in that car, but that's why you can't just cut someone's brakes and expect the person to drive. If, like, you expect that person to die. It's, like, the stupidest way to try to kill someone. They could end up killing somebody else and walk away fine. You, you know, you can't just cut someone's brakes and expect that person to die and no other casualties. So dumb. <laughs> All right, so, um, Nell and Michael in the park. Nell's being a bitch. I think it's the first time I swore today. Using Sasha's cheating. Um, you know, and she's... And she, um, she wants full custody. Um, she's saying, and then you can have visitation rights, like, a weekend a month, and every other holiday. I thought she was gonna say 50-50. I didn't know she's going for the jugular like that. Like, she's going, she wants full custody. Is she crazy? Like, she just got out of jail. And, but Michael went to jail, too. But, I don't want to keep going backwards, but... Complete different circumstances, but in the eyes of the court, they're both, um, ex, they both got, they both went to jail, they both killed someone, M Michael did it to save Jocelyn from Claudia, Nell did try to get money, you know, I, anyway, so, um, Carly's starting in on Sasha, Sasha tells a bunch of lies, Carly, I don't believe you, it goes commercial, comes back, Kim and Trina are talking. Um, she's saying it's over, you know, I know you're in a Jocelyn, blah blah blah. And then he then he um anyway, then Joss and Dev first time out they decided to go to the hospital. <laughs> I thought that was I know the friends are there, the two best friends are there. But still I and mean, then they went to the movies after, but still it was like, alright. Uh, they, I they did say I wanted to be surprised. I'm gonna call them, but your first time out the house a month, you can go to the hospital. Fuck that. <laughs> but anyway, um, Brando, no big, no surprise here. Brando says he wants to stay. They wouldn't develop this character as much as have him go. Um, then Brooklyn and Julian arguing more. Nell tries to blackmail Michael. Um, I don't even know what the fuck she was using as blackmail. Huh. Uh, whatever. And just saying that, yeah, just by saying that they could call if he could get the visiting rights if he just um, agrees to, to right now and keep get the court out of it. I don't know. Then Nell leaves with a threat because Michael yelled at her pretty good that you'll never get anyone near my son. And, you know, she deserved it. And, um,. Sasha's telling lies to Carly. Carly figures out the truth in like a second. Because she was like, yo. She didn't say yo. She said, last time we talked, you were saying that Michael should 
marry Sasha, uh, marry Willow. So these names are new, a lot of these characters, sorry. About marry Willow so um, he can get full custody of Wiley. And now, a sudden, you're an innocent. She just figured it out quickly. Then Sonny shocked, Brenda wants to stay. Um, Liz talks to Trina's mom. Liz says, go for the new job. And then Trina's saying that her and Cam should just be friends. And she said, there's just a kidnapping that brought them close. And, you know, and that's when they had that kiss. And then um, he gave her a big hug and he was like spinning her and she was laughing. She was loving it. Um, and anyway, then of course, um, Jocelyn and Dev walk in right then and it stops. And then Julian and Brooklyn are still going at it. And then Brooklyn says, I'll keep your secret. And then Lulu's boyfriend, um, Dustin walks in. <laughs> um, I didn't remember his name, but they did say it later. It was like Mr. Phillips and Dusty. <laughs> I should have got Dustin. But um, then he says, what secret? And then goes away from there. Then goes Chase just in the floor sad. All right. And then goes back. Carly knows everything, but she says, don't, um, don't like confirm it to me because I'm obligated to tell Michael. But then she tells Sasha, I think you're doing the right thing. And. Um, he's really lucky to have you, and I hope, you know, like, she was like, she respects him more now. So, let's, anyway, then, Michael goes crazy at the park, he takes a branch, starts hitting a tree, and then, of course, Willow shows up, and then, okay, okay, so Brando decides, Brando decides to stay, no surprise, Kim and Joss, uh, oh, Joss thinks there's something up with them, and basically Trina, she's a pretty good liar too, just says, no, nah, no, nah. um, everything's fine, and then Chase, he's still sitting on the floor, sad, and, uh, oh, first, first, um, Dustin, they pick up, they say, what lies? And then Brooklyn, she's a good liar too, a lot of good liars, um, she, um, says that, oh, Julian, I forget the lie she told, but anyway, he bought it, um, and so, then, uh, and Sasha shows up at Chase's place, and he lets her in, they're just talking, they're both just sitting there sad, I feel bad for both of them, they're both heartbroken, they both did things for the, um, like, better, you know, the bigger picture, better cause, all for Wiley, all, all for the kid, and then, um, Michael gets Willow to take the, to hit the tree at the branch. And it's kind of funny. He was saying, pretend it's Nell. And she's like, I hate you, Nell. I hate you. know, it's a little bit of bad acting right there. Um, okay. Then goes to Brooklyn, Dustin, talking about her music. And because he's producing or doing something with her music. I don't even really know. He's pretty boring. <laughs> um, Whatever the X we never saw. Um, all right, so Trina. I don't know the. All right, so the four kids are basically back together. You got Trina, Jocelyn, Dev, and Cameron, which they're. I'm not too fond of the kids. <laughs> yeah, it was when they got kidnapped. That was interesting. Um. And it was kind of funny, they were saying we're going to a movie, and Cam saying no chip, no chick flicks, and this is important, but um, Dev was like, what's a chick flick? Because he's from Turkey, and then Sasha and Chase are talking, Willow says she's glad that Michael yelled at Nell, she wishes she was there, and Willow's talking about how heartbroken she is, and then you can tell, oh, they can tell they like each other. You've known her for a long time. They've had chemistry. And she, um, she's like kind of hit on even once too, even when she was with Chase. And then so, goes, comes back. Sonny tells, uh, Brando, you're welcome to stay. It's all up to you. Um, 
Trina's mom tells Liz she applied for the job. Blah, blah, blah. Um, no ask. Do not ask, now she's a metric court, and um, she's telling, she starts with Carly, and then she's telling Carly how abusive and loud, and how Michael yelled at her. Then she's like, don't you care that your son that you raised just talked to me like that? Why the, this is the first time I swear, why the fuck would Carly care? Carly hates you now. Now is a, the, I've never seen a worse bitch. Like, I hate her. I mean, and she's hot, <laughs> but. Ah, anyway. And so, uh, what I read next. Sasha and Chase talk more, and then, oh, uh, of course, Sasha told Chase that Carly knows, and um, Sasha, she finishes the water, and she says she had anything stronger, and she had right back. So now, this is my prediction. Yo, they're gonna get, they're gonna really get it on now. I think because they're both heartbroken, they both gave up, the people they really love, the greater good. So I think they're really going to get on now. I thought for a while it might just be a swap. But <laughs> I didn't think it would be that easy. Um, and then... Yeah, she has something sober, stronger. Then Willow and Michael are getting closer at the same time at the park. Willow keeps, from, keeps saying how much she loves Wiley. Would do anything from the Wiley. And today's big ending, which should be like a Friday quality episode, was Willow saying, we can't let Nellie get full custody. How many times have we had this conversation? And then Michael says, um, don't worry, we won't to Willow. And um, that was the big ending. So I think he's going to ask her to marry him now. And then now we just got um, what's coming up Monday. Now we got a long break. I just did four reactions at General Hospital in like 24 hours. Now I don't got to do one for like four days. But anyway, that's just little, little previews of what's coming Monday. Ava tells Nicholas, what, you want a divorce? I don't know what she, why, what she's talking about. I don't like to do Nicholas either. I don't like any of the recast. Franco says he'll never escape his past. We haven't seen him for a while. I really liked him as Todd Manning. Um, I don't... I didn't know Todd Manning from the other soap opera. Too, I watched, I seen some clips on YouTube, but when he came, I liked the more as Todd Manning when he came on the soap opera. And he should have stayed Todd, and um, Finn should have stayed uh, the cop, McBain. All right, so then Sam tells Molly, tell the truth. Brando tells Jason he's staying. Alexis says... She lied under oath at something. I don't know what why she under oath. The, and it shows Dr. Byrne attacking Julian, which I think Julian, he's he, Julian Jack. I think he beat the fuck out of Dr. Byrne. And Dr. Byrne, my guy, I know um, <laughs> my hair is a mess, but you, you can still shave. Like, he's, he looks like he's homeless with the beard he's got right now. And, um, like, you know, I still shave today. Still looking pretty clean cut, even though I got this mop. Under the hat, I got it hidden, but um, I don't know if they got hairstyles doing the hair. I'm not sure, but anyway, I, I don't know if he stopped shaving because he's out of work right now, and it's the look he's going for. Yeah, but either, either way, you know, shave that shit. You look homeless. All right, this video got a little long. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see you Monday. Peace.